Do it. And people saying a lot of stuff about Kovalev prior now. After this fight, do you think people will what still... What are they saying? Well, they always say he's like the boogeyman and all that stuff, but you obviously took the fight. You're fighting him. You moved up and wait. I'm pretty confident that this fight's going to be a very successful fight for you. Do you think that people are going to say that type of stuff about him afterwards? I don't know. That's not, you know, that's, those are things I can't concern myself with. Uh, <clears throat> you know, that's your guys' world, yeah. you know. I don't, I don't, it's funny, you know, you look at all the things that were said about him, and then you look at his last fight, and you see the things that were said about him, and then you see some people that are still saying those things, and some people are back on the bandwagon. That comes with the territory, man. Unfortunately, it's, it's, it's sometimes it's, it's touch and go, sometimes it's hot and cold. So, really, I'm not you know, concerned at all about what's being said. I got to focus on him and, and what he's bringing to the table and what I need to do. <clears throat> Andre, what does a uh, day of training set up? What does it look like for you? What do you go through each it's day? It's a lot of pain <laughs> <laughs> every day. Um, I mean, I have days where you know I'll do uh, you know some type of you know cardio in the morning. You know, sprints, distance running, uh, you know, go, go back to training camp, get some rest, eat, and then we come to the gym, you know, we'll spar, we'll hit the heavy bag. You know, it's really a monotonous process, you know, when you're in training camp, and that's pretty much every day. And of course, we take days off, and there's times you gotta rest the body and, and be smart. Um, but it's really, it's really the same thing every day. So even as you get closer to five, there'll be no changes? No, I mean, you doing. know, it's, it's, uh, you know, as you get closer, you know, you start to pull back a little bit so you don't overturn. But that's normally the week of the fight. So up until, you know, uh, the Saturday before the fight, we're full steam ahead. You know, we're going 100 miles an hour. And the addition of Clarissa on Shields? Are we, I, I'm excited you, about yeah, that. Talk yeah, talk about that. She calls you her idol. I, I mean, first, I'm honored uh, for her to say that. And, you know, I just admire, obviously, her story and what she's come from. But... She's amazing in the ring, you know, she's the real deal. And, you know, I watch her, I pick up things from her. And, uh, I mean, for her to have two gold medals is, 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 is amazing. And, and now for her to get the opportunity to fight her pro debut on HBO, which I was fortunate enough to do, uh, is a beautiful, beautiful thing. I think it's a perfect, perfect situation for herself as well as for women's boxing. Because I don't think women's boxing gets really any type of attention, you know. Um, those that know certain women and certain fighters, they'll support and do, do the best they can to get their name out there. But, you know, as a whole, I think we could do a better job because they do play a part. You know, they come in here, we have women come in our gym. They work just as hard as we do. They take the same risk we take. Um, they just don't get the notoriety or, 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 you know, sponsorships or, you know, the money that we get. And it's unfortunate. Ward, when, when you're fighting a puncher, do you train, change anything in camp or is it the same? No, it's all, it's, it's, I mean, you obviously, you know, depending on who you fight, you have different game plans, nuances, different things you're working on. But, um, I mean, we respect, you know, our, every fighter that we fight. You know, we don't get, I mean, and I'm talking me and my team, we don't, we don't get caught up in the whole, the whole puncher thing. You know, anybody can get you out, out of there if you get hit right, you know. So, I don't think I'd be sitting here in this position right now if I had these highs and lows. This guy's a puncher, oh my God, versus this. Man, we, we gotta find a way to get it done and we're gonna find a way to get it done. I don't care what he's got in his gloves, uh, uh, who he's knocked out or what he's done. My job is to, to, to get my hand raised and, that, and that's what we focused on. And how was it having Shakur Stevenson in your gym recently? I was beautiful, man. It's um, having, no, having young guys like that around start to make me feel a little older. Because <laughs> I used to be that guy in Roy's camp, in Floyd's camp, you know, hanging around Bernard. Um, and you see yourself. So it, it's, you know, it's a little weird because you're like, man, I'm the OG. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> but it's also a beautiful thing because, you know, um, we need more of that. You know, we need champions and, and, and top contenders and just fighters in general, man, to open up the door and allow these young guys on the way up just to show them how it's done.